A new film about Mrs. Clinton became the highest grossing documentary so far this year. In a just released clip from Hillary's America, filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza explores a claim often heard from Democrats that the Republican Party is racist. I want to name some prominent people who have been involved with America's racial history. And I'd like you to tell me simply if they were Republicans or if they were Democrats. Okay. Let's begin with the inventor of the positive good school of slavery, the idea that slavery was a good idea, Senator John C. Calhoun. Democrat. What about the writer of the Dred Scott decision authorizing slavery and claiming that blacks have no rights that a white man ought to respect Roger Tawney? That sounds like a Democrat. What about the founder of the Ku Klux Klan, Nathan Bedford Forrest, who was also a Confederate general? Democrat. Let's now talk about a few more figures in American history who resisted racial oppression. Abraham Lincoln. Republican. His Secretary of State Seward. Republican. What about the two leading senators who championed the cause of abolitionism, uh, Thaddeus Stevens and Sumner? Well, they were Republicans. What about uh, Frederick Douglass, the runaway slave who became a champion of the abolitionist movement? Republican. Well, there you have it. Dinesh D'Souza is a documentary filmmaker and creator of Hillary's America, the smash success thus far. Dinesh, great to see you. So why, why are you releasing this now? Uh, because I think most people don't know this stuff, Megan. I think that if you asked most Americans, and most black Americans in particular, which was the party of slavery, segregation, and the Ku Klux Klan, they would say that's probably the Republican Party. But the truth is that that was the Democratic Party. It has a very sordid history. It's never uh, acknowledged it. It's never made any restitution so for it. It's never apologized for it. What it really has done is taken the blame for what it did and put it on the South or put it on America. So, so how did what How I'm did doing the narrative in this start to change in this country such that so many people just say, oh, those, those Republicans, they're racist? Well, part of it is that the, uh, the Democrats have uh, put forward this idea of a big switch. And the idea is that the Democrats became racially enlightened in the 1960s and all the racists became Republicans. Now, this notion of a big switch is completely fictional. It rests on one guy, Strom Thurmond, who was in fact a Democrat, a racist Democrat. He did become a Republican. But all the other racist Democrats, hundreds of them, uh, we put actually in the film a list of 1,500 racist Democrats on the screen, less than 1% of them switched to the Republican Party. So the big switch is actually, Megan, a what big about, lie. You know, affirmative action is one issue on the Republicans, on which the Republicans generally object and the Democrats generally favor it. That's something that some folks use as evidence of, you know, a, a racial bias on the part of the Republicans. But it really isn't, because if you think about it, the uh, affirmative action is really a form of racial preference. Now, the Democratic Party had racial preferences for whites for many, many decades. Now they have racial preferences for blacks. Both are equally opportuni opportunistic. They had the racial preferences to, for whites to maintain the Democratic Party as the party of white supremacy in the South. Now they're doing it to basically buy votes. In either case, it's cynical exploitation. It's not okay, really a principled question. stance. Last question. Do you ever sneak into the back of the movie theater and watch your own movie? I do, and the, the sight of people just standing up and applauding at the end and tears streaming around their cheeks, Megan, it's the most beautiful feeling in the world. And then do you sneak out or do you proudly walk the aisles like, Dinesh D'Souza, does, does anyone know me? Uh, well, it's, uh, you know, sometimes I'm in the back of the theater and no one knows I'm there and it's really fun to watch. Those, that's probably the best because I'm <laughs> seeing people's unedited reactions. <laughs> it would be nice to have some hugs after the fact if they love it, though. Dinesh, it's great to see you. My pleasure.